Hi there, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Cadillac in London, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Cars and Crosby. Escalades, uh, we're gonna talk about style today. And one thing that I really like to do with some of my vehicles that I get from the factory is give them a little bit better of a stance. And that's no hit against GM or any manufacturer. If there's one thing that I would say is easy to fix, it's the shoes on an outfit. I wanna make sure that the transmission, the ride, and the overall experience is bar none the best that there is. And if I could just add a little bit more to make it more my style and make it a little bit more unique, I'm okay with doing that on my own and I'm gonna help you guys in showing you what you can do to style your Escalade to your own appeal. Now, I have been very fortunate and able to get uh, some tires. And if you guys have been following onto the channel, this is an ongoing issue. It's not, this is the first time that I've had to deal with this, but um, 24 inch wheels on Escalades is something that a lot of people uh, take the liking to do, but the 24 inch tires are extremely hard to get. So I'm gonna go over with you guys today, how I sourced, how I research, and everything you need to know about upgrading the stance on your Escalade. All right, so let's just get right into it. Uh, we've got a set of Vossens. I'm a proud, supplier, a proud ambassador of Vossen. Uh, and I chose them for a lot of reasons. You know, I, a lot of people might start thinking that my credibility might go out the window because some YouTubers always hawking a specific brand, but I'm not in this to try to make a living off of YouTube and, and, and uh, promotions and, and merchandise. I, I, I obviously enjoy it, but for the most part, my job is a car salesman. And as a car salesman, I always want to be someone that you can believe in. And I'm always doing an episode because I'm trying to give you a heads up on something. And if I can find a product that not only comes in at a great price point, but it never leads me wondering if I'm going to have to deal with a customer service issue down the road, you're dang right I'm going to choose one brand and only one brand. So Vossen, don't let that go to your head, but you guys have been doing a great job and I'm going to continue to use you guys because I haven't had any headaches and I always have happy customers, including myself. Taking another selfie today, I'm going to put some wheels on my Escalade. I have the Sport and the Sport that I have, just for refreshers guys, is a satin seal Sport. It's not a Platinum and I went all out taking a risk and getting the Whisper Beige interior on it, which I'm very happy with. Um, you know, it's not for everybody. If you have kids or if you have the platinum model and you've seen it on my video, it's got linen inside of it. I don't know if I really like that, but the non-platinum interiors come with black wood trim. And I think black accents in particular are a really good look. Now on the outside of the Escalade in the sport model, you also have the black accents. So I, well, you'll see soon enough what I got on the rims, but let's just start talking about the tires. Cause that really at the end of the day is where I can be the hero and giving you guys a heads up. There's two sets of tires that you can look at for an Escalade if you're gonna to upgrade to a 24. There's a 305 35 24, and then there's the 285 40 24, which is what I have right here. Now, the difference between these two tires is the width and the sidewall. This is always gonna be the same, the 24. Now, just for reference, on the actual Escalade right now, we have a 22. Now, if you look at the sizing of the tire, which let's just see if we can find that. I should have found that before we went on video here. We've got a 50. So this is what the 50 is re referring to. This is your aspect. This is how much meat you have on your actual wheel. And when you're driving around, especially in Canada, and let's just look at my lot here, not to beat up Mr. Finch and his beautiful uh, car lot that I saw on. Canada, northern states in particular, we do not do well with winter and roads. They, they tend to create potholes. And if you have not put the money into doing the research and also investing into a good quality rim or wheel, you're gonna pay for it down the road in dividends. And where I'm going with this is that the sidewall is really gonna be your guardian angel when you're driving around, you're not paying attention and you hit a pothole. I don't wanna be uh, on the other end of a phone call because you were uh, driving along and you rode off two wheels going from the front axle to the rear. So I'm gonna do everything I can. Obviously I'm gonna put a disclaimer and that's part of this video on trying to prevent that from happening. And I'm the type of individual that when I'm driving my vehicles, I'm not gonna go around all dainty. I don't raise garage queens in this family. So I'm gonna be using things as a guinea pig for you guys while you're researching this. And I'm gonna give you feedback as we go. If you haven't checked out my channel before, I've even taken my Corvette through two feet of snow just for the sake of learning about what it's gonna do. If, if it says that you can do it, I'm gonna do it. And if I wanna uh, you know, be the best advocate for all these upgrades that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna give you the best advice, but I'm also gonna go out there and do it myself. So where I'm going with this is that the 
sidewall is a very important thing to take into consideration because that's going to be your guardian angel in terms of how much protection you're going to have on a pothole if you're not paying attention and life happens I don't ever think that you should go through life expecting that everything's gonna go perfect. And you should always just try to be able to be knowledgeable and, and knowing that you can handle the problem if it comes about. So the 305 comes with a 35 in the sidewall. We're already going from a 50 down to a 40 with these Toyo proxies. That's the only size that you can get, obviously, because we're increasing from a 22 to a 24. And going to a 305 is a wider tire and it's also got a, a, a smaller sidewall. And there's two downsides to that. The first downside is that when you have a 305 tire, you have a lot more surface area, not, not a significant amount, but you have more surface area, and that's gonna create a situation for hydroplaning, or if you're in a bad weather environment, the wider the tire, the worse it's gonna be in terms of trying to get that, that rain or snow and stuff like that out of the tread and connecting you with the road. I don't suggest driving these in the winter, but let's just say, for example, you hit a hailstorm during a tornado because you were chasing a tornado or uh, there was a flash, that was a really terrible example. If there's a flash amount of snow that happened to hit in the beginning of November or something like that. Um, you don't want to be stuck at the side of the road just with a, a little bit of a dusting, as we call it up here in Canada. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a decent tire, but not too wide. It's not a race car for, you know, it, it's, it's a pretty big vehicle. We're not going to be taking this around corners. So sidewall height, I always want to take the most that I can. And if it's a wider tire, I really don't actually want that as much because that's not what the demeanor of this vehicle is all about. So that's why I've chosen for a number of reasons, actually, not just the only ones, the Toyo proxies in the 285 4024. Now, in terms of tread, the Toyo proxies, in my opinion, are the best at directional sites that will take water and stuff like that out of there, but also having a little bit more of an aggressive tread than even what comes from the factory with the Bridgestones. Now Bridgestone is an affiliate of Michelin. It's a great tire. I have nothing against it, but in particular, I, I really want to try out and see what these are like. I've driven those specific tires on a 24 setup about 500 miles uh, so far. It wasn't my vehicle. So I'm going to hopefully get a lot more experience on my own. But as of right now, first impressions and also doing the research and the reviews for you guys, I found out that that's one of the best tires you can get. And that is a Proxy ST3. I don't know if it's a three or if it's just three Roman numeral I's, but you're going to look for a Toyo Proxy ST and then three Roman numerals beside it as the tire that you want to get. Now, I've also had some experience with the Yokohamas and they are more expensive. And in my opinion, they have worse reviews and I, I just haven't really seen a lot of quality in even the tread of them. And I don't want to get into a, a, a match between, you know, Yokohama and all these other ones. It's just my research. This is what I've come up with. And I'm going to try to create the path of least resistance. If you don't live around me and can't get them from me, this is what I've proven works. And I've already had some vehicles that have had this setup that I'm doing on mine for about nine months now. So I know that this is not going to be something that I'm going to have to regret going back and doing a video on down the road. It was just the fact that my tires took forever. And that brings me to the next point. More than anything right now, if you're looking at trying to order a vehicle or you already have, focus on getting the tires. The tires are extremely hard and I hate to say it, but I hoarded as many tires as I could in Canada. I had to go all the way to Vancouver to get four sets and then I have 10 more sets that are coming overseas. I believe that they are made overseas. I have 10 more sets that are already on their way that'll be here in a few months. So I've already cleared out I don't know if I should be proud of that, but I've already cleared out everything that I could find in Canada and looking at tire rack and Costco in the States for some folks, I've noticed that it's going to be at least another month for even tire rack to get it out of their facilities. So that should be something that you should really focus on, um, and getting ordered up. And then we can focus on ordering the Vossens as they tend to not be as long of a wait. Now the Vossens are a six lug that you're wanting to get for the full size GM lineup. This has got six lugs as it says and the confusing thing with that is that the nomenclatures and the names for all of the different wheels are completely different even though there are some very similar designs that are on the corvettes uh, that i already talked about so we're doing the 2021 on the corvettes on this one we're just going to stick with a 24 all the way around and they're a six lug instead of the five lug hybrid forge series so i'm going to unwrap these now for you guys on camera but before we do that i'm going to show you some of the accessories that i've also got for this setup so having a set of Vossens, pretty nice. It's a nice thing to do. Not saying that you live in an area that there's gonna be a lot of crime, but having a locking wheel nut, in my opinion, that has a really nice, I should have opened this up before I went on camera. Let's see how I can do this without slashing my fingers with a sharp plastic. 
we're gonna cut to commercial break while I unwrap all of this stuff. I should have done that ahead of time, I apologize. Uh, let's get this thing all unwrapped and then I'll go through with you guys all the stuff that I have here. Sorry about that guys. All right, so without further ado, let me introduce you to a Vossen HF Series 6-4. Now, the reason why I went with this is because of the style of my Escalade. Let's just look at the um, monochromatic logo, for example. We've got black, we've got some grays, and then we have a machine face, and then the Escalade itself is in a high flake metallic satin steel. With this, I wanted to kind of get that logo in the wheels as well. And so I went with a machine face on this. And the reason why I, um, I think that that's going to work is because the whole vehicle itself has already got a lot of gray and black as an accent. And I wanted to continue that theme on and also be a little bit more unique, you know, dare greatly. That's our, that's our credo with uh, Cadillac. And I know that that doesn't seem like a huge, you know, risk or anything like that, but I just think it's going to set it apart that much more in terms of giving my Escalade a style that's unique. And that's what I'm going for. I want to be able to express my sense of style on my vehicles. And I think that this specific wheel is going to do a really good job at that. Now, in terms of accessories, I've got the built aluminum center caps, and you can get this either in a red or obviously what I'm going to be doing with mine, which is a black. And as you can see, that's going to look pretty sharp there. I also have valve stem caps. We've got the 14 by one and a half forged aluminum lug nuts because these Vossens are obviously a very highly attainable rim or wheel, they're gonna need to have some locking wheel nuts to go on there. So we've got that and then my key. And then last but definitely not least is a brand new set of TPM monitors from Jenner Motors. Now here is another guardian angel savior thing, whatever you wanna call it, heads up on when you're getting this. And this is one of those things that it's a critical moment. Do not get an aftermarket set of these. I don't care if you don't get the Vossen wheels for me. I do sell them in America and Canada. And let's just say you go to your local place and you, set, and you order a set. They may try to sell you a set of aftermarket uh, tire pressure monitors. Because of this new Global B architecture system that's on here, the Escalade and the Corvette in particular with the magnetic ride control, there's a lot of telemetry and data that these vehicles are reading about. And just because it's on the same Hertz, I know that they're gonna probably say to you, oh, you know, this is 433 megahertz and so are the ones that I'm selling, why won't it work? They don't. I don't wanna to try to sound like Apple, uh, people that are all upset when Apple comes out with a product and then you gotta retrofit to the other one. But in this kind of situation, because of how advanced magnetic ride control is, if you use an aftermarket tire pressure monitor, it's not gonna work. And even further than that, if you're looking at using a GM tire pressure monitor for let's say a Tahoe or a Yukon that doesn't have magnetic ride control, it's also not gonna work. So you can't just even get a regular Tahoe tire pressure monitor. You gotta do the right thing and go to your GM dealership and get this. And let's be honest, if you're buying an Escalade from a GM dealership and then you're getting your wheels from somewhere else, they're not gonna be mad that you're going somewhere else to get the wheels because they already got the Escalade sale. And if they are giving you attitude about that, reach out to me and I'll mail you a pair. So if you're gonna be getting your Escalade, be proactive about the tires. The tires are really hard to get as of right now. This, this video might uh, not age well, but I, I really honestly think that this is gonna be something that's gonna be an issue for at least another year. If you're looking at getting wheels, I would order them at least at the time when you place the order on your Escalade, because they're probably gonna be around the same amount of time, which is roughly two months. You know, these, these wheels are made in Miami and based on where you live, that's also gonna factor in and how long it takes for them to get to you. If you're looking at styling your Escalade and I didn't uh, sell you the vehicle, that's okay. I'll still help you out. I love this. I really enjoy being able to connect with people from all over the place. And if you guys have any interest in ordering a set, I can do that anywhere in the world. So I'm your guy now. I'm really happy to report that I have incorporated Cars and Crosby and I am getting into selling stuff that I already know how to do. I don't wanna get into having a five page menu and making this more complicated than it needs to be. If I'm already ordering these for my clients because I know and believe in it, it makes a lot of sense for me to be able to help you guys out with that as well because I know exactly what you need to order and I can do it in a very efficient manner and I'm already having to track other things, so I might as well track yours as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're gonna give you a little montage of us putting these wheels on and then we'll show you guys in a later episode what the styling of it looks like after a long-term review. So I'm gonna give you a little montage, show you what it looks like after it's all said and done, stay tuned for more awesome content. I'm Morgan Crosby. Happy motoring.
so Ethan has got the Escalade on the hoist. Tell us what you got, Ethan. So these are the new center caps. Wow, so these are a billet aluminum center cap. What were you just telling me about how they are to go on? Uh, they're very difficult to put on and take off, so make sure you like the ones you have before <laughs> you put them on. Very cool. Well, this is really cool. And then I also think that you can maybe put some white paint on here to get that white Vossen look, but these are definitely something that are stylish. And uh, I see what you mean about these clips on here with them coming on. Now, what are the other things that you had here that came in the kit? So these are the centering rings that go on the hub here. And they make it so that the new Vossen rims fit onto the hub for the car. Okay, so this is like a little bit of a spacer almost? It fits around the hub of the rim. Okay, so let's just take a look and see what you're talking about here. So inside of here, it's just a little way to push it out a little bit further. So this is a different size than original. Okay. So that makes it so they fit. Ah, I see. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, man. All right, guys, finally got it done. Uh, well, let me introduce you to it. This is the Cars and Crosby GM flagship lineup. The best of the best of what GM has to offer is now in my possession with the nice Cars and Crosby touch done to it. And this is pretty much it. There's not a lot more that I can think to add to either of these builds at this point because, you know, at the end of the day, I want to always be looking at uh, future content and products and I don't want to put too much into it. And I also like to make them tasteful. So. This has been a really awesome ride over the last year and a half designing it. This one was a lot more easier because there isn't a lot that you can add in terms of accessories that change the demeanor too much. And the shoes, in my opinion, were the biggest thing that I wanted to change on the outfit for this one. Now, my inspo for this was all down to this monochromatic logo. If you look at this, we've got some gray, which is reflected in the satin steel paint. The black is accented all over the place because it's a sport. And then the aluminum, which is all around here, I've matched it with the machine face from these HF6-4s. I couldn't have planned this better to have this anonized aluminum, uh, billet aluminum center cap to match as well. And then we've got the Vossen lug nuts with a nice hidden set of locks on here as well to make sure that nobody steals this when I'm sleeping. I'm really happy with how this turns out. I'm really happy as well that I didn't just go with black or white, no offense to my, my C8 over there, but I wanted to mix it up with a different color. And this, in my opinion, is a, is a nice color. It really shows off the vehicle well and all the kind of curvy little lines that are on this big fancy box that we call an Escalade. So just as a reference, guys, this is an Onyx edition. This is what it would look like from the factory if you were to order it done up through GM. These are an upgraded set of black wheels and they are quite expensive. In terms of cost, these right here, these uh, Vossens, they're actually less money than to do the upgraded set from GM. So if you're not really happy with the stance of the vehicle and you're wanting to upgrade it, don't order an upgraded set like on the Onyx edition. Just leave it with the base set and you can do the monochromatic logos, you can do the puddle lamps, and you can also do the black emblems that are in the Onyx edition package, but you don't need to put that money into the, the, the wheels and save them for your winter set. So I've already got a set of winter tires that are gonna be going on my uh, Escalade uh, base 22 set. Anyone else there that is in the uh, Northern States will understand what I mean and in Canada, but if you guys are down South, I'm very jealous that you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm sure you could probably sell them or keep them for the next owner if they don't decide to have it. And then you always have your Vossens to be able to put on the next set. Now, in terms of the availability, I kind of touched upon it with the tires for the uh, Toyos on here. These Michelins as well are kind of in the same boat. So you really want to make sure that if you're ordering your vehicle that you definitely get on top of ordering the wheels and the tires at the same time along with the tire pressure monitors because you don't want to have a situation arrive where your vehicle is stuck in the showroom at the dealership because the tires or the wheels haven't arrived so you want to be proactive right now in terms of time frame there is a big improvement in terms of how fast we are getting stuff at the beginning of the year it was a lot worse in terms of the time frame from you ordering a Vossen set for me to the time that it was delivered 
Um, I would say right now it's, it's, it's significantly less and I I'm just kind of nervous about this video aging like milk uh, because the, the timelines might change. But I, all I can say is, is that be up forward with the person that you're ordering your vehicle with and when you do have something that's set in mind or you're looking at getting some consultation from someone like me, I would be more than happy to be able to help you procure this. I'm very proud of the fact that I've incorporated Cars and Crosby and then I'm going to be able to help you guys out with getting vehicles accessorized in a way that you like. If you like my style and you're wanting some advice or you're just wanting to get an opinion uh, from someone else that does this on a regular basis, I'm a really great sober second thought for that. And I don't mind if you don't purchase any products or if you've already purchased from somewhere else, it's bigger than that. I'm wanting to make sure that you can rely on me as being somebody that is always there to help out. And I think it's really great. The world needs a lot more fun and, and excitement and, and friendships from all over the place. And if you're from a country like Dubai, I'm doing a lot of business with some friends over there and I'm really excited. I even went on a little FaceTime tour of downtown Dubai a couple weeks ago and it was really fun. And I've got an arranged meeting with a Corvette club where we're gonna do a show and uh, a show and shine and, and also just share in some stories as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you're interested in looking at getting more information about something that I do on my channel, please reach out to me. I'm all yours in terms of getting some information across to you. I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Cadillac in London, Ontario, Canada, and happy motoring.